let's go. Uh, let's, please, let, uh, let, 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 let's let's do some more definitions. One of the things when you're Ameri- when you're in America, you notice that you have names that aren't European names. Names like uh, Alabama. Names like Mississippi. Names like Tennessee. These are the indigenous tongues of the people of America. And if you look at those people in those lands, Memphis, Tennessee, nothing but indigenous people in Memphis, Tennessee. New Orleans, Louisiana, nothing but indigenous people. Damn, Mississippi, Alabama. These people didn't come from Africa. These are the indigenous people here. And uh, Rick, on our last program, we had you were a lady was asking how was it that she connects herself back to the land, back to America, and you were telling her something about the forest and how so-called African Americans they blend in with the forest or they blend in with that habitat. Could you explain that again? Okay, uh, the forest is the natural environment in this landmass that we call America. Uh, all, all the indigenous animals, the deer, the turkeys, the uh, squirrels, all these type of di- indigenous animals come from the earth. And if you look at them, they're the same colors as the earth. If you look at the soil, it's the same, all the soil, it's the same colors of the animals, of the trees. When the leaves turn in the fall, they turn into the color of the earth. And so, so the earth created its own, its own environment. And uh, one thing that people don't know, the earth also in created its own people. And the people that were created in the forest here in America are uh, right now intentionally by design, called African-Americans. 